six. And this has been a good one for the WBA Americas Junior Lightweight Championship. Jose Vidal and Delio Palacios. Palacios is going to have to do something here, Sam. He's going to have to really nail Vidal with a couple of punches because Vidal is getting away with really throwing hard punches and winging him, and he doesn't have to pay too much. But again, now his uh, Vidal finally now starting to use the jab. I'm just going to say he's not using that jab at all. Looking to land the bomb. So what's Palacios doing to leave himself so wide open for that right hand? Well, what he's doing, he's not being active enough with his hands, Sam. He's allowing, he's allowing Vidal to set and fire. He's standing right in front of another case. Standing right in front of Vidal without moving his hands. You're in front of you know, There's nothing wrong with you snapping out that left jab if you throw it properly and not exposing yourself at all. He's standing there. There's finally the jab comes out. He can throw. By that time, he could have thrown five jabs. Now, Palacios' offensive pace has slowed down. Vidal has maintained his pace and is controlling the fight at this point. Vidal has much better legs than Palacios. This man. He's able to move side to side, escape out to the side when they, whenever they get in these exchanges. That's really been the difference in the fight, the angles. And Palacios tries his right hand. Vidal. You see Vidal moving those legs constantly side to side, trying to keep Palacios a little bit off balance. Palacios with a bit of a change with the right hand lead, but Vidal coming back strong. Beautiful combination. Three punches to the body, then back up to the head. Nice work with the jab. Better jab by Vidal than Palacios. Good luck, Hook scores by Palacios. Again, not much behind those punches. Not much power. He, Vidal, beautiful defensive work. Not only his hands up blocking punches, but slipping to the side. Look at that move to the right. That's a very difficult move to make in boxing. Got caught with a left hook. Palacios scoring with that left hook. A couple of times here in the sixth round. You know, Palacios has that way of switching to southpaw, which he just did then, goes that right-hand lead. The head's banged hard. Palacios checked to see if he was cut, but there's no blood that I can see. Final seconds of the sixth round. Well, fans, just a reminder, hold on to your seat straps, for they just might be your ticket to free kick later this evening. That's right, a little later on, in the center of the ring, we will be giving away two Castillo liquid crystal data back watches. So please retain your ticket straps. You may be one of the two lucky winners. And also, Another good reason to hold on to these two for tonight. You <laughs> slip from the boxing matches here at the Bell Farm. We'll be good for a half price admission to the Palladium Mike Club at 126 East 14th Street in Manhattan. Tonight's attractions are at the Heaven Plus the Double Salsa Band Review. Round seven, scheduled for 12. There have been no knockdowns, but it's been a good action fight. Let's check Gill's scorecard through six rounds. I have, um, Palacio, excuse me, I have Vidal winning five rounds to one, Sam. Palacios is going to have to wake up. He's going to have to become a little more offensive and just try to take the play away from Vidal. The only other chance he has is if Vidal completely gets exhausted and falls apart because he's too quick for Palacios. His hands are a little faster, and his side-to-side -side movement is a lot better change of right hands. I've got a little bit closer. I've got a 4-2 for Vidal. 58-56 on the 10-point scoring. And maybe you could make a case, as we mentioned earlier, for a, a two-point round for Vidal. Good exchange. And a good right hand got in at the end of that by Palacios. And Vidal had to back off a little bit. But, you know, we've mentioned before, even though Vidal is landing the harder punches in the exchanges, 
Palacios is making him back up. Keeping that pressure on all the time. I thought Palacios started to come on in the final 30 seconds, maybe even the final minute of that last round. Low blow, Palacios backs off. And Arthur McCanty going to go check out Palacios. You know, some of the fans are booing, Sam. Absolutely no reason for it whatsoever. You can see that this kid's a game guy. He's not going to look for any way out uh, with a low blow. And it's an, uh, certainly an unintentional low blow. Vidal apologizing, saying... No, that, that's not why he bowed, Sam. Oh. What he was saying is that Palacios pulled his head down. Oh, that's, right. why he hit him. that's why he hit him. Oh, he may have apologized at the same time, Sam. So we're both right. <laughs> In any event, he said to the referee, he didn't mean it. Indicated anyway that he didn't mean it. Whether he's sorry or not, maybe he's not so sorry. <laughs> That's what the old timers used to do. You know, they drop one low once in a while. Gee, I'm sorry. You know, me <laughs> take a little steam out of him. Good movement by Vidal to get away from Palacios. Palacios can find Vidal when Vidal moves to his left because he switches to that southpaw stance and just reaches with that right hand. But when Vidal faints and moves to the right, Palacios completely loses him. Vidal is doing a beautiful job of boxing right now. Under 10 seconds to go. I would like to bring to your attention that smoking is prohibited. The seating area here is the top floor. Hear that? No smoking. I told you that. John? Lou Duva is sitting behind us. Okay. By the way, Van, tickets will go on sale tomorrow morning here at the Garden Box Office for the New York Daily News Golden Horse Bounce here at the Felt Farm, which will include the quarterfinals on Thursday, yes. April 6th, and Friday, April 7th. The semifinals on Wednesday, April 12th, and Friday, April 14th. And How the Knicks doing? April 27 and Friday, April 28. Purchase your tickets tomorrow here at the Garden Box Office. Let's take a look at that low blow, Gil. Okay, here we go. Well, you really couldn't see it because uh, Palacios covered it with his back, but you, the punch was low. His right hand definitely low. But you did see what... Vidal indicated that his yes, head was pulled down. pulled down. Correct. This is round eight. Scheduled for 12 for the WBA America's Junior Lightweight Championship. Basically what that is is another belt. <laughs> you can call a limited title, but a stepping stone into contention. You know, everybody talks about how great the boxing business is, how much money is being generated now. I think the belt making business is better. <laughs> Good exchange of right hand. Looks like Palacios though, woke up a little bit now, Sam. A little more life than Palacios. Look at that left hook on his skin. You can see a little difference there. He may have been told by Dave Gorman that he's behind in this fight. He better pick it up a little bit. Another good left hook by Palacios. a few times, but Palacios backed off and actually held, held on. I don't know if he got rocked. Something happened, Sam, that I didn't notice. I saw Palacios land a good left hook. He's backed off, and Vidal is being urged by his manager and his people at ringside to keep pouring it on. Vidal throws beautiful short punches inside. Did you see that uppercut there, Sam? Landed a couple of good uppercuts in this fight. And there's that double left hook again. Boy, Sam, that takes hours of work in the gymnasium to get a fighter to do that. Hook to the body, hook to the chin. Lots 
Palacios has had to back off. And Vidal lands that right hand again. He doubles with the right. Change of left. And Vidal has picked up his pace once again. Well, you know, Sam, the few times in the fight when Palacios did land a couple of good punches, it, it really woke Vidal up. He's a good competitor. He doesn't like to get the best of him. Stays on top of you. In the fights that we've seen, he almost is at his best when he's trading toe-to-toe. -to -toe. He almost likes that action. Look at those body punches. And then back up to the head. Sharp jab. He got tagged with a right. He answers back. And here they go. And another big flurry. Right hand by Palacios. Late in round eight. Welcome back to Fight Night at the Felt Forum. There's Lou Duva, the trainer and manager of Evander Holyfield, Meldrick Taylor, and many, many others. And certainly very happy over Evander Holyfield's win over Michael Dokes last weekend. A good fight. Sam, that was a great fight. Best heavyweight fight, in my opinion, since Norton and Holmes. It's going back a ways. Uh, you know, I do go back a ways. <laughs> I hate to say that. Nice flip for the raising right hand by Palacios Ford. Well, there was that slip over. He, he slipped over to the right. And again, they go punch for punch. Vidal is getting just a little bit of the better of it because he has more punching power than Palacios. But we mentioned about the pitching and catching before, Sam. It looked to me like Vidal really felt the effects of those punches. See, see how he's, he stayed over the southpaw, Sam? That's what he does, and he traps the guy. That overhand right bothered. Well, he threw the first right hand and missed with and he came right back with another right hand because there's, there's that right foot going forward again. He becomes the southpaw in the middle of the exchange. Palacios wants to get right back into the action. Been a pretty easy one to handle for Arthur McCanty in the ring. Cool. <laughs> Is there a referee in there, Sam? I mean, you know, when there's a good fight and there's a good ref, you don't see the ref. And I just haven't seen Arthur McCanty at all. That's the kind of fight it's been. for 12. And it's been a well-paced fight. So there's that escape to the right. That's the thing that bothers Palacio. And Vidal moves to his right. Doesn't have to be much of a movement. Even two inches is all it takes. He's giving him that little turn of the body, the switch, just to try and change up a little bit on Vidal and confuse him a little bit. He does the escape again. Move over to the right. Leaves the guy in the dust. And there's not too much dust in there either. Vidal seems to be pacing himself through this round. Well, I think he's, he's, he's giving this round away, Sam. No question about that. to the bell, ending round nine. 
perfecto. Perfect. Yeah. It's up to you. I have no problem with it. I have no problem with that whatsoever. Uh, I'm ambivalent about it. It's, uh, I don't. I don't know what's a good idea on that. Thursday, March the 30th, right back here at the Fabulous Cell Farm. Tickets on sale tomorrow morning here at the box office. It's going to get Outlets in your area. Out for round 10 of the scheduled 12-round bout for the WBA America's Junior Lightweight Championship. Jose Vidal in the white trunks, Emilio Palacios in the red. Gil, how do you have it scored? Well, I have the fight seven rounds to two Vidal. I thought that he gave uh, Palacios the last round by not throwing too many punches, moving around. And that's a little bit closer at 6 3, 87 84. But what we're, what we're both saying is, Sam, for Palacios to win, he had to score a knockout because the one round could have been a two point round. Right. And Vidal, farther than he's been in a fight in September of 1987. He went 15 rounds and losing a decision to Manuel Batista. Vidal showing no signs of firing at all. He's well positioned. Good right hand lead by Vidal. And well, that's that confidence he got from the last few wins and then the hard work in the gymnasium. He really does look like he's in excellent condition. And with the pressure that Palacios has put on him, he has to be in good shape. Palacios, a tough competitor. There's that right hand again. And that move out to the right. Beautiful work. It's just poetry in motion. Inside, he was throwing those punches and still moving those feet. A little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, taking himself out from the front of the other guy. Beautiful work by Vidal. And the tank goes up. Vidal, Vidal. Palacios continues to press forward. Boy, is he pressing forward now, Sam? Vidal fights well backing up here. Fights well backing up, and as I say, he's got that side-to-side -side movement. His footwork is much better than Palacios. Good right hand lead by Palacios. And, and another right. And that, Sam, that second right gets in because he switches to southpaw and Vidal just isn't prepared for it. That right by Palacios. Deflation all of a sudden. Round 11. 
scheduled for 12. There's been no knockdown. It has been a tough competitive fight. Good action. Very few clinches. And both Gil and I unofficially have Jose Vidal ahead of Delio Palacios. But I've got a close Gil. I've got a two-point lead for Vidal. It may not be insurmountable if Palacios...